Sky Sports News. Hi, hi, Frank. Can you hear me? Hi, Roger. I've got you. Yeah, excellent. Uh, uh, congratulations on the win. Um, three points, the all-important three points. But given the way Palace battled in that second half, do you count yourselves a little fortunate to come away with the win? Well, in the last five minutes, maybe, yeah. But we, we should have had the game um, under much more control at that point. I think we uh, at 2-0, we should have carried on and controlled the game better, I think, at that point. Um, and then at 3-2, we have a lot of chances in the second half, good chances to, to finish off with slight wrong decisions, maybe on the final pass or a final shot. Um, and then it invites pressure. And yeah, we, we Kepa makes a great save. Um, Kurt Zuma makes a great tackle. But in those last moments, yeah, we, uh, it was nerve-wracking for us. Um, just going back to the first goal, Frank, um, a couple of people asking questions about whether it was right to carry on when Gary Cahill went down. Was it ever a consideration, do you think, for the players? Or did they do exactly the right thing to continue? No, they, they do the right thing to continue. I, I think any team would continue in that situation. Williams threw on goal, naturally not looking to stop and turn. I mean, if that, if that was the situation, the game, we stop start all the time. That's why we gave the referee the, the decision to make those decisions and we carry on playing. And that, those are the rules, as we know. I think anything around the head, and we know with head injuries, which you saw a few times in the game as well, the referee blows and we stop. So, for me, not at all. Um, a goal for Tammy Abraham as well. Important for the teams. Important for him as well. Yeah, yeah, it'll be really important for Tammy because he's uh, he's uh, desperate for goals. He ha he hasn't scored um, for a while, and that can happen as a striker. So it helps his confidence. He took it well, um, and it's good. It's good for me. It gives me other options. He comes on later in the game and he offers stuff. He scores a winning goal. So I'm pleased with him. I'm pleased with my strikers. And just finally, from, from me, um, another word on, on Pulisic as well, because he's had such an impact. And uh, is he perhaps proving to be even better than you expected and had an even greater impact than you expected at this stage of his Chelsea career? Uh, no, because I didn't put any limits on him. And I knew that, what the talent he had. And, and I wanted to help him when he first got here, because this is a, a physical league, the, I think the best league, I think because of the physical nature of it. And he came in and he had no break. So we had to be careful. I tried to manage the beginning and he came in and played great for us. Unfortunately, he had an injury, which has been a, a, quite a bad injury, but the, the hunger that he has, the quality that he's showing, and the end product, which is the main thing for me. Top players in the world in his, in his area, attacking players, do score goals, they win games, they make a difference, they assist. Uh, and in restart, he's been fantastic. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. OK, guys, just a reminder, use the wave function if you want to ask a question. We'll go to Matt Law, Daily Telegraph. Hi, Frank. Hi, Matt. Apologies, my web um, connection isn't great, so sorry if I suddenly disappear. Mm -hmm. um, I was just going to ask, like, like you say, Kepa made a, a great save at the end. Would you attach any blame to him on Wilfred Zaha's goal? I, I haven't seen it back, Matt. I know Wilf, Wilfred caught it really well. Um, I would see it back and uh, I would you know, speak with Kepa. I haven't got to that point yet. But I know he caught it well. Um, and he made a great save at the end. The fingertip save was big for us. It's huge. And that's what he's there for. So credit him for that one. And we'll analyse the other one. And can I just ask you as well about Willian, who we've spoken a lot about since the restart, but he was extremely influential again for you, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He was extremely. I mean, him and Christian are, are a big threat for us at the minute. And um, when you, you think of Willian in his situation, the, the impact he's having in all of the games at the moment, with his speed and how he travels with the ball and his quality, which we all see in every game, um, I'm so pleased with him. He's been, been brilliant for us, both of those, and, uh, and William deserves huge credit. Cheers. Thank you. Tony Banks, Daily Express. I've lost. Yeah, there he is. Can you hear me, Frank? Yes, Tony, I've got you. All oh, right. Just want to talk about Kurt. Um, he last two games against Watford was excellent, and tonight a real great saving tackle right near the end, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it was fantastic from Kurt, and um, you're right. I think at Watford he played a really good game as well, imposing, great defending, uh, good on the ball, um, and every, that's everything I want. And uh, and defenders might not always get credit for those sort of moments. The goal scorers get those, but his is definitely a, a point saving tackle at the end, saves us two points, um, and I'm really pleased with him. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Tony. Charlie Wyatt, the Sun, and then Ollie Harvard to finish. Hi, Frank. Um, you, you were asked about Kepa earlier and you mentioned, you know, what, what a sort of great save it was. All goalkeepers are affected by their confidence. How important do you think that just one moment could be for him? 
yeah, it, it can be big. It can be important. I, I mentioned before Tammy and scoring a goal and his confidence. And when you're at the end of the pitch, and I think goalkeeper probably even more so in a way. Uh, confidence is huge when you're in that individual position. Um, but yeah, and they should be. He should be boosted. His teammates should be boosted because he, at the end of the day, saves us as a group two points. And that's what kept his job in that. And that's what he's there for. So really pleased for him. You know, we want, we need that. We need that to be a top team. You need keepers making those sort of saves at times for you to, to pull you through. And he did it today. Last question, Ollie Harbord. Hi, Frank. Uh, I just wanted to ask you about Billy Gilmore's performance today and, and why you decided to give him the nod um, over Jorginho to start when, when Kante was injured. Yeah, I thought, I thought Billy did pretty well. I wasn't overly delighted with our midfield today. I think considering how they've played in recent games and how slickly we've moved the ball in games and the rotation, we didn't. We held on to it a bit long today. Um, the reason you pl I play Billy is because it's a choice. You know, the, the two games Billy played before lockdown against you know, Liverpool, really the best team in the world. And Everton was fantastic. Uh, he trains like that as well. So does Georgina. They train really well. And di little moments or, or my opinion of how I look at a game means that I've got to make difficult choices through the games. It doesn't mean anything about the future of Georgino or Billy or anyone else in the team. I think we saw the impact that Georgino had in calming the team down and making passes at the end. I know he can give us that and he'll continue to give us that.